So always when these move, something important happens. And the dog learns this makes uh, information. The same with the legs. Yeah? If they approach, something happens. Either next exercise, or kicking the ass, or uh, happiness for uh, running around. <coughs> Always something important. And the dog focus on this body. So if you want to make blue, blood. Throw the blood, throw the blood. And if your body moves, the dog must know, now comes the voice for Fuß and and then you have a good appetence for the work. So after plan A and plan B, you have one's reinforcement, in the middle reinforcement comes plan C. Dog knows already the signal, the exercise, where to go, but this is never his private aim. He shall stay here and he will try the sideway of the highway. And now it must be hurt. And he said, okay, I, I understand, this is maximum comfort. Yeah. And then he tries the other side to go out of his dress. And then it hurts. And he said, okay, this is maximum comfort. And then you say, yes, going good. And positive reinforcement. You get your clicker and you get your prey. And this is our game, plan A and B plan C. What we train, how we train the dog. <laughs> he learns working this shitty exercise is minimum stress. And the coordinated work is minimum stress. And this is what I know, very new. The trick that plan C was positive is understanding. And you never surprise your dog. The dog knows always what happens. There's always announcement exercise. An example. You do the healing. <coughs> The dog, you have a frozen body, you move, and the dog knows maximum heaven is here in the box. So, but now comes the situation that you stop. Old style of training was surprise. Left foot and stop. And then because of compulsion. New training is this is what I taught, for example, also to Dirk Eder. Don't surprise your dog. You don't get harmony with your dog, and your dog is always in fear with the handler. And this costs strength. And the dog needs the strength to put in an exercise, not against the handler. So, the easy way is to teach the dog, this is moving, and when you make a longer right step, then is a sit, is a stop exercise. And when you put your leg down, this is the exercise. So, announcement is, announcement is this, and exercise is this. And you will see with all my dogs, they sit before I put my left leg to the, to the ground. I walk, and then I stop, and the dog is sitting, and I put the, 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 the leg behind the dog. And now I can start a gamble with my dog in the trial. If I want to stress him, I do it quick. If I have a problem, then my dog is distracted and looks everywhere. Yeah? I need coordination. I make this, and I, he's distracted, and I go slowly. And now we are coordinated. And the next time, I do it quick when he's concentrated. And so I glue my dog with the frequency of the exercise in my adaption, in my blue. And uh, these are the tools you have um, if you train proper, if you have coordination and dog understands.
it should seem, for example, for the helpers. Also something I learned very late after 40 years. You act with your body, but the dog cannot look in your head. It doesn't know what's coming. So, every muscle tension makes something. But you move, you step, your muscles change, and you get 100 points if the dog acts nothing. Just hold the grip without, without going out too early, without working on the situation. So the dog should ignore all the muscles in all the situations. How can you do it? So it seems we always work with the body, with the fight and everything. So no exercise without announcement. Yeah, before I stop, I give the information fist and even the body. And if the dog accepts this and holds the grip, help heaven. If he does not, help. Help heaven. When you start. And when you start again, start with a voice. Okay, and go and hit the dog. And then you put everything on voice, and no longer on body. And then you can get in the modern way of judging points. I think this is all shit, but if you criticize, you must be able to teach a dog what they want to see. And this will make made impression when I showed Finch in, in the first uh, BDH. Fighting, help of stops. And I waited, and I waited, and I waited three seconds, and then ice, and the dog. <laughs> Next year, Spora did it once with his dog, <laughs> but often, often tried, never, never reached. This is this is not easy, but. Uh, there are some tricks you can, you can teach it. Yeah. Put it on the voice, not on the, not on the body. Because the dog focus on the body, and, on, and he has to learn working on the voice. It's signal control, what you teach there. So, every exercise, first announcement, then the body, and uh, for the helper means, if I want the rebite, I do the waves, I do the green with the carpetios and the legs, and then I make the rebind, I put the gray in it, I close my body, biceps, stiff muscles, but before I do it, I say pack, which is the command for rebind. Okay? And then he rebinds, and then I say okay, and I go up again. And this is just a learning situation if you put everything on command and not on body. I think for many of you, this is a new thing. Be careful if you work this with two compulsion. You have to do it. Because here you don't have the support of the drive, and here this goes on the nerves. So therefore, there is this bomb. Be careful, you can destroy a dog. And if the dog doesn't understand, it's confusing. And you get a mixture of hyperactivity or either the dog goes to gray or to blue. And this destroys the dog. The trick is this little arrow. Arrow. This is Nepopo, for example. The dog learns drive is connected with compulsion, with active compulsion. So, what I always say at this point is a stupid handler uses spike collar and electric collar for blue, for passive behavior. Don't do, stay, and no. This is stupid. If you raise a dog, use a spike collar for activity. So, we use this for the barking. Handler learns a tool, I call it champagne finger, whatever it is. He's standing there, hold this here, and the dog is working on the spike and started to barking. We see this outside. And I explain a little bit more why we do this in this way. 
And um, in this, the dog learns when there comes a spike, go to gray and not to blue. And uh, use a spike for come here, take the dumbbell, turn right, but don't do this for plus. Don't do this for stay. Don't do this for no. When you're a young dog. Later, of course, it's different. We come to this point when we talk about learning. So this is now. Okay, this is high performance. There's a coordinated work. You don't have to motivate from outside any longer. This dog is happy that he's in coordination with his handler. He can do everything, but if you want to reach this high performance, you must be disciplined as a handler, absolutely disciplined, with body and with voice. You have to be very fair to your dog. If he makes a mistake uh, by, by, should have this one. Uh, don't pain him. Also, he can do a mistake, be fair, and you must have a super coordination. So, now let's talk about how long do we have. Oops. Okay. So, the dog comes in a Schutzmann 3 trial on the training field. And he's blue, Fuß. Then he has to go in blue, six lines. He comes to the helper, he has to change to gray. Then, and he has to stay in the gray without being distracted by approaching judge, approaching him. Then comes a command, here Fuß. The dog has to change by this acoustic command to blue. Then, comes the command, step out, the dog has to ignore it. Then move the helper, the dog has to ignore it. Then the dog is put on the plus position and the helper runs away. And this is a moment where the dog shall act on body language. Helper runs and he shall act. Before the helper moves, should not. This is also difficult to figure out for the dog, when shall I, when shall I not. And this is our training, teach him the signal control, when to do what. So now he attacks, takes a grip. Then comes the command out, he shall change to gray. Ba, 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 ba. Then comes the re-attack, he shall change to green. Then comes out, then come approach the handler, sit, stand back, transport, in blue. Then comes uh, the rear tank in the transport, the dog shall go to green. Oh. Then comes out, goes to gray, ba, 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 ba. then comes blue, sit, stand back, side transport. Long attack in blue, long attack, green, out, gray, rear tank, green, out, side transport. So the whole trial is just a gambling on this ring. Either the dog shall be stable here, or here, or here, and you must hear it. have a clear signal control when change where. This is the ideal, but world champion don't fall from heaven. So we need this shit happens. This is orange. The dog can do what it wants. And your body language is just no voice, just tight leash. Or with a collar, with four fingers in the collar. And now you start training, and at first you teach the dog, go to green, bump, keep the green. Then, go to gray, ba -ba 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 -ba. then, stay in blue. Information, stay, or fuß, or platz, is for blue. 
this is information for an acoustic and body language is spike color with four fingers in the, in the spike color like this. I will explain you outside because we don't have the time here. Uh, this is a tool for gray and the tool for green is hand under the muscle. And the dog learns that this is green situation. To make it comfortable, to put no grain in, we do this in this way, that the handler stands here, tension in this muscles, no tension in the bicep, that means stretched arms. Now you have never bicep. And one hand under the muzzle, the other hand here, and put your dog here in Masaputa Shoes. Mother's mother slap, yeah, that he feels comfortable. We do this outside. And then you start gambling on the ring. So, give me this 15 minutes to talk about learning. We come back on the training field to these spoils, uh, to, to these slides, uh, to make it more directly because we don't have the time here. There are two ways of learning. One is the dog learns this attraction brings up green, blue or gray. So you talk, go to the training field and you start with the old method, spy collar whip and you paint your dog. What does the dog learn? He goes next time to the training field, oh, you should start again, I don't have fun. Yeah. The other hand one goes with his dog to the training field and starts with green and gray. And the dog goes into the training field, ha, where the next time I am in the boss. Yeah. So this is learning of emotion, learning of drive. This is one thing. Then the dog has to do the retrieve, has to do the sit, the plus. This is learning of technique. This is here, instrumental conditioning. This is the classical conditioning. Classical conditioning because Pavlov makes this old classical experience. Then he rang the bell, nothing happens. He shows food, saliva was dripping. And then he learned, and then he saw when he rings the bell and gives the food, he repeats two times. And suddenly the bell makes saliva run. So the dog has learned. The attraction which was in the beginning neutral suddenly has a quality, an emotional quality. And this is a classical conditioning, learning emotions. And the instrumental learning is motoric and skills. Whew. Now comes something different, difficult. This generalized at once, making difference is a different learning process. What does it mean? That means a stupid handler uses a spike color for blue and a smart one for gray because the dog connects at once. Spike is ooh, or spike is ah! yeah. And so it's important, this emotional learning goes quick. This makes sense in the nature. If you have no fear, you will do one mistake. Yeah. This genetic material is out. And uh, so, emotions you have to learn at once. How to kill a rabbit or how to kill a mice, you can try several times. So the motoric does not generalize at once. If you teach a sit exercise and here are people, here is a wall and here is a beamer, he can do the sit exercise if there are people, if there is a beamer, if there is a wall. If there is a highway, if there is a handler, and if there are other dogs, they'll sit exercise. So to generalize the motoric, train, 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 train. Here, the first experience settled deep. So, as you heard, plan A, plan B, plan C, make sure the dog always, when you teach something here, 
always teach also the motivation for this. So is it smart to work the old style of hell, 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 no hell? Or is it smart to teach, hey, come here, here's a heaven, positive hell. It's of course useful because first experience settle deep in the emotional part. But if you train exercise, start with plan A and plan B. Start with positive reinforcements. And then when the dog has an idea, you can go to negative reinforcements without destroying motivation. But when you go to the negative reinforcement, make care, take care, that the compulsion is always under the drive. Don't go to this. Always the drive in the front ground, and then a little bit dirt in the work, and the dog eats more and more and more and more, and pushes itself forward. This is, for example, this dog with a Kodai cleaner. A strong drive, mm -hmm. yeah. and he bites. And when the dog gets older, pain becomes more. And these are the dogs who have this good cow driven serious work, totally energy. And I said 20 years ago, what they did destroy in the show with the shepherds, Hans Rittenauer destroys with the cow driven. Because they create, they select bottleneck on cow driven. Because every dog with pain here <laughs> makes his trip. And the older he gets, Pain gets more, and the dog gets more intense, but he learns to eat all these problems and survive and drive. And then we see this dog say, oh, this is a real dog. Nobody sees that the tail is like this and all this. And when he turns around the blind, the tail is not like this, the tail is like this. Nowadays people know this, nowadays people understand it and look for a healthy dog. Du sagst hier stopp, wenn wir hier raus müssen. So again, Plan A, Plan B, Plan C is the order. So. Noch 10 Minuten? So. Okay. So we do the communication outside. These are the two things. We are perfect here in talking, 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 and we are cripples here, and the dog is perfect here and the cripple there. And this is our communication problem with the dog. The rest outside.